Hey, what's going on everybody? So today I wanted to cover some things that I recently learned about uh, digital comics and possibly the future of digital comics and how sort of crypto technology and NFTs may be a major factor that's involved. So if that sounds interesting, uh, stick around. I'm Lord Max Elvin. I'm a best-selling comic creator. I have comics online and in comic shops. I have Liquid Kill issue 6, which just released in comic shops last week. It eats what feeds it hits bookstores this fall, and you can have uh, access to all my other projects and updates by going to hovencrow.com and uh, clicking the links and joining my email list and all that. But uh, anyway, so I'm just going to jump into the video and talk about, first I just want to talk about comiXology. And now, I say it's dead, it's not dead, it's still there, it's just harder to use. There's a lot of things that are more screwy with it. For those who don't know what comiXology is, it was basically the go-to digital platform that allowed you to download onto this platform, read digital comics that came out in comic shops. So it was the dominant digital platform in the West. You know, for those of us that aren't, you know, into web comics as much or reading in sort of the scrolling form, that like American comic books that we like reading left to right side by side and not scrolling down we would just want to read the comic as it was printed but in a digital form for time and convenience and things like that you could get everything from the big two to indies to self-published uh, it was all there on comiXology and it was easy to use you could find stuff that just came out you could find stuff that came out 20 50 whatever years ago you could find out what was coming out in the future it was great and then amazon kind of screwed that up and now you they make it to where it's like kindle and it's not as easy to navigate and i essentially gave up and uh so since then nothing's really taken its place to sort of dominate and that is why i kind of want to talk about here is how i think in the future the whole digital revolution in the crypto world is all about decentralization and the fact that we can't replicate things digitally and that's what gives them value and I think comics and their collectability are right at the center of why you know comics are valuable and you sort of take the artistic elements and the sort of money elements and all the uh sort of morph everything together and it reminds me of how uh, you know 10 to 15 years ago there was a revolu revolution with film in the stream the rise of streaming platforms and at the very beginning it was a huge benefit for the indie filmmakers and it w a lot of them gained a lot of exposure and money within like the first three to five years that those were on the rise. Like, for example, in the early days of Amazon Prime, you were getting like 10, 20, 30, up to even like 50 cents every time, you know, like ad revenue every time someone viewed your film, as opposed to today where it's like fractions of a penny up to maybe two to three cents or something. Uh, and so back in the day, people could be making films that cost them 20 grand and they could be getting millions of views and they'd literally be making millions off of the ad revenue because it was the early days and the same thing with netflix like 10 15 years ago if you guys remember it was i mean after like the whole dvds in the mail but when it was like netflix you see today but the movies that were up there it's a ton of indies ton of like indie horror indie comedy and the, the there was netflix was buying independent films for like five six figures which you don't hear about today um or at least definitely not at the rate and even and and uh you know now they're focused on their own original content and if they do buy something it's not indies and if it is it's it's you know m major budget indies not like back in the day where nobody filmmakers who were making micro budget films were you know, it was a heyday, sort of, for a few years. It was like a, a little mini golden age. Point of that is, like, I'm seeing that happening right now with sort of the digital revolution and comics. It's like we're entering 
what was the streaming revolution with film, which is now still a whole big deal. Uh, we're still not sure how to deal with it. I think the same thing's about to happen with this whole sort of NFT craze, and not with the whole like monkey photos that we associated with today or like the profile pic phenomena that we see on Twitter today, but just like the old school when you were first hearing about like non-fungible tokens and crypto and like how does it have to do with anything in our world people were talking about how just ignore all that and just think the technology what it's showing us in the future is like you're going to be able to play video games like a grand theft auto type game a big massive world game be driving into the mountains you'll be able to find something like a comic shop and that comic shop is going to be owned by someone in real life outside of the game and it's going to be full of comic books that you can buy from you know uh, like maybe only inside that game um or comic books that you can buy in real life you know at a real life comic shop but inside the game there's only one variant cover that's only available in the game and it can be purchased with like real life dollars downloaded and taken off and out of the video game and into uh put onto your phone which can be put into you know a digital garage and whenever you put on you know your augmented reality glasses or project something onto your wall then you can throw the comic onto your wall uh or view it in sort of an augmented reality book and read it there and you could hold it and it can't be damaged and it's still collectible because of the NFT technology that makes it to where it can't be replicated. So there might be only one version of it. And the only way to get rid of it or is like you would have to, you know, sell it out or rent it out the same way that things kind of work in real life. And much like the old days of like DVDs and videos and, and uh like uh why am I blanking? Goodness, like the cassettes, like back in the day, the video shops would have to buy those from the distributor for like hundreds of dollars, and then they'd have to rent them out to viewers. Um, and that was the revolution before streaming was that phenomena of making, you know, lots of uh, people making the income off of DVD sales. Okay, and VHS tapes, that's, yeah, not cassettes, goodness gracious. Okay, and, like, that might be we're entering in the digital world to where NFTs will make that sort of another thing, to where instead of, like, a comicsology being, like, the place where everybody goes, instead everybody's going to have sort of these wallets or platforms on their phones that then allow them to uh, access and read uh, or store these digital comics that they can get from anywhere and not just one central place they can get it off of a video game they can get it from uh you know a digital comic shop they can another person okay and i i i think that this may be where things actually go once this technology actually reach, uh, reaches a very usable phase. Right now it's very at the very beginning stage, but there are apps. It's not really that, it's not that outlandish to think about like the whole scenario I just played out because the apps are already built. They're starting to go live and uh, I don't think it'll take that long for them to actually be um, functioning at a level that we couldn't believe a few years ago um and how that affects us as independent comic creators is i think that it's this boom is going to allow us in this early stages for us to actually kind of latch on and be able to go directly to readers and sort of find these new platforms and be able to create digital comic books and not just like be you know already the the digital realm it's like there is a digital revolution and with comics and web comics and things like that it's already it's already there it's just this nft technology is going to allow it to where it can be everywhere and everyone's going to be able to make money off of it the creators will be able to make more money off of it um because every time a book is resold or digitally downloaded they get royalties every time and it will be instantaneous. It won't be like having to wait for your publisher 
uh, to then send you your invoice or sen- to send you your, you know, uh, your funds at the end of the quarter or whatever. It's going to be immediate. It's like every time someone buys, downloads a book, rents it, uh, the person that rented it out, they get a cut. The creator gets a cut at the same time because that's what the technology allows. And um, anytime you make it to where virtually everybody can make money off of this thing over and over again, that is like an incentive to like push it even further. And the creators will have more involvement. The people that are trying to find good books and be like, I'm the platform that has all the really good stuff. Um, and so like come to me or I'm the platform or like, you know, and I think publishers are going to become more like producers and more like incubators and instead of funding the actual publishing of physical books although that will definitely still happen physical books will still dominate everything but at the same time they will also be uh, consolidating and funding creative teams more to uh, bringing them together and having them create a good pub, uh, product that they can also release digitally all over the place um, and you know because you'll be able to eliminate the distributor and you'll be able to go directly to a reader faster and get the you know the funds immediately and it'll allow everybody to make more because you're going to eliminate a lot of the middlemen um and a lot of these costs and so it'll be more about the product artistically um that's just sort of my opinion on on this and i can dive more into the weeds about the actual technology and things like that but i just wanted to make this to kind of start the conversation and if anybody has any thoughts on this or has more insight about how crypto may influence the comic community going forward or your opinions of nfts and stuff like that fill me in and i know there's you know digital like crypto apps and stuff like vv that focus on the actual collectability and nfts are like actual collectible comics in real life and like old comics and i'm less interested in that i'm more into how can independent creators sort of latch on um, and take advantage of this digital revolution um, and less on you know the how speculators can profit from it and more about like the creator side and, you know, if anyone wants to hear my opinion about anything else like this, you know, like AI art or transhumanism and stuff like that, let me know. I do write cyberpunk, so I have opinions and thoughts about all kinds of weird stuff. Um, just let me know and leave a comment and I'll uh, respond. Thanks, everybody.